My dear students, welcome to Unit 3, Week 1, which extends from the 7th of January till the 11th of January. Welcome to, to this new scholastic semester. We're going to start this unit by reviewing the E1 exam. You're going to review your E1 exam. You're going to recognize your strengths and weakness points. We're going as well to reflect uh, to reflect our information about um, Unit 2. We're going to write your strength points, what you have uh, benefited from the unit. You're going to write areas of uh, development. And uh, the word wall is going to include review, weakness, strength, discussion, and analyze. First, you're going to watch a video about reviewing and about acing your exams. You will have an interactive activity, and then you are going to watch a video to find about uh, weakness and strength points and how to find strength in weakness. You're going to have another interactive activity, further practice, and you are going to you're going to answer a challenging question. What are the effects that what are effective revision strategies for students? You will have a self-assessment and for what to do tomorrow, you're going to search for the following words, contribute, consistent, maintain, observation, sufficient, and you're going to use three of them in meaningful sentences. Please write the sentences in your notebook. For lesson two, you are going to recognize the key concept, related concept, and global context of the unit. You're going to formulate the SOI and you're going to recognize the criteria of the unit. The word wall is going to include criterion, key concept, related concepts, global context, the SOI, and generate. We're going to watch a video about how to formulate, to formulate the statement of inquiry. And then you will have a site where you're going to uh, formulate your own um, statement of inquiry. And then you are going to watch a video about English language and literature tasks. After that, you're going to search on how to implement an ACE criterions A, B, C, and D. You're going to make a, a PowerPoint presentation about the criterion and its strand, strands to search on how to get the full mark in it. You will have further practice. And for the challenging question, how can you engage your audience in your presentation? You're going to write four points. You will have a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, we're going to write your SMART goal for this semester and bring it the next day to be discussed in class. For Unit 3, Week 1, Lesson 3, you're going to uh, search for the new vocabulary meaning, part of speech, and use the words and sentences. You're going to read and discuss at the crossroads, and you're going to find the features of an explanatory essay. The word wall is going to include crossroads, explanatory essay, features, purpose, journey, and experience. You'll watch a video about at the crossroads. You will have an interactive activity. You'll watch a video about explanatory essay, and you'll have another interactive activity about explanatory writing. You'll have a further practice. For the challenging question, you're going to be asked, what are the types of explanatory essays? You will have a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, you're going to summarize at the crossroads text, and you will write the summary on your notebook. For lesson four, you're going to learn about uh, how to summarize texts, and you're going to summarize texts in groups. So the word wall is going to include summarize, main idea, details, passages, texts, and practice. First of all, you will watch a video about summarizing nonfiction. And then you will have an interactive activity where each group is going to summarize, read and summarize the text. You will have another video about how to summarize fiction uh, texts. And you will have an interactive activity about that, further practice, and for the challenging question, what's the first step to summarize, to summarizing a passage? You will have a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, you're going to watch a video and write the names of the characters in the play. Now, for lesson five, A Christmas Carol, you're going to recognize the features of a play. You're going to identify the new vocabulary. 
the word wall is going to have convicious, morose, res uh, resolute, impossible, malcontent, miser, drama, act, play, and characters. You're going to watch a video about play features and you will have an interactive activity related to that. And then you're going to watch a video about the Christmas Carol vocabulary and you'll have an interactive activity. You will have further practice and for the challenging question, you will have an interactive activity, a challenging interactive activity, a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, you're going to search for the multiple meanings of the word soul and write them on your notebook. I can't wait to start this week with you guys. Um, all the love and respect of the world.